Okay, team time trialers, here we go with number 132, swift change of where the route is. This time it is Flatland Loop. So we start where it says start here, then it is flat, then it goes up, and then it goes down, and then you do it again. Uh, let's look at it in a different profile with roughly the same words. Start on a downhill, four and a half kilometers mostly flat, four and a half kilometers mostly up, two and a half kilometers flattish, and then down to the start line, do it again. There we go, see, do it again. This is different from the last time we did Flatland Loop because last time there were three laps and this time there are two. Um, exciting stuff. So uh, I think it's going to be an awful lot faster uh, average speeds than, uh, than it was last time. You won't need to hold your, your energy for that third lap. And uh, 26.7 kilometers is what I make the total distance. Uh, that is not far. It's not very hilly. So I think that we're going to see very fast. I think we're going to see very fast circuits. Um, okay, so the anything special to kind of point out here on the on the DS notes other than you should download these and have them to hand, print them out, whatever. Um, so there's the link in the top right corner. I can't think of anything else to say. Let's just jump onto the bikes. All right then. So we are looking at the same six bikes that I generally bikes and wheels that I generally recommend that you go with what are we looking at today well a lot of flat and that hill is not awfully steep um, so <clears throat> excuse me I think Tron is probably a good choice but I think if you've got the Cervelo S5 and you have the DT Swiss arc wheels those are probably good even the NVSES 8.9s uh, might be good enough here um, so there you go, I didn't really give you any advice at all, uh, except go with what you like. Here's the target times. Um, so Vienna, uh, no Vienna teams in Doppio, uh, but Espresso, 39.30, Frappe, 40 minutes, uh, Latte, 43, and Mocha, 45, over to the mixed. And you've got Doppio at a mere 34 minutes target time from me. Espresso 35.15. I might be being a bit generous there. I think probably be more around 35 to win a platinum place. Uh, Frappe 37, Latte 39.30, and Mocha 42.30. Those are the times you will remember that you want to get in a PL place. So there you go. Let's just jump on with the ride itself. All right, as I said, it's a uh, downhill to flat start. About 200 meters till we hit that gate and you can see the descent's already started. And uh, we'll descend now to one kilometer on the first lap, 13.4 on the second lap. I've broken the um, sort of ride reports, if you like, down into the three sections. So you'll see pop-ups coming up in a second for the first section. But ultimately, this route's all about staying in your group through the undulating terrain. It's not horrible hills like last time. It's not completely flat. It's undulating the whole time. Um, but we will start after this brief downhill with the farmland flat, which is a mostly flat four-ish kilometers. Um, it starts with this short downhill that we've done. After that, it's flat all the way just past the sprint. So as we're going down here, um, often if it's flat, I'll, I'll give teams a sort of a target speed to hit. Um, if it's hilly, I'll give them a watts per kilo to try and go for. But here you can't really do that because we're looking at... Um, we're looking at undulation all the time, so it's either uphill or it's downhill and it's constantly changing. Um, so there you go, you're going to have to be communicating all the time. Let's take this opportunity to say a massive thank you to the October Coffee Club. Um, I love the name Someone that you will see pop up there. Uh, these are all of the people that have contributed to the Sherpa Dave Coffee Club Kept Me In Caffeine as we go through, so a massive shout out to all of you people. And an additional 
shout out to some special guests that I've seen seen their name pop up in comments or in downloads. And of course, it is wrong for me to say uh, anything about the Coffee Club donations without saying that's not the most important thing. The most important thing, download the assets free of charge. Uh, you can distribute this video to all of your teammates, as I know many of you do. And the one thing I'd love to hear in the comments is what teams you ride for. Uh, I know some of them, and you saw some of them pop up, pop up on the names list, but I don't know all of them, and I would love to know who you ride with. Let's put some music on as we bounce around this flat-ish section. We're approaching the sprint now, and the sprint marker is, and, and gate itself, of course, is, uh, while we don't care about it in a team time trial, it is a good landmark to let us know that this fairly flat section is ending in a few hundred meters. And following that, we've got a 4.4 kilometer stretch that heads mostly upwards, but again, it undulates upwards. Um, so it's a series of small bumps separated by little flats or even downhills as we go up. More important um, as we go up here is to make sure you're communicating because speed watts per kilo will be different for every rider as you go up here so make sure you're talking to each other you can understand what pace you want to go at and how everybody is feeling. My suspicion is everybody will be pressing really hard all the teams will be pressing really hard on these two laps and so there is a strong chance that people are just going to get worn out and fall back and you'll get splits because of that so let's not let that happen well let's not let that happen without communicating about it so we can see here's a bump up it gets up to it's up four percent now flattens out a little as we go through the town. Here's the second of our bumps. Now, this section averages 2% over the two kilometers, but again, it's variable and it gets up to 6%. It just bumped up there as we just went through, but it does average 2%. So again, as I said uh, on the section before, this is all about communication, all about talking to each other, taking your place at the front of the line and then falling back and resting. The 
challenge on this route is that there just aren't that many landmarks that really jump out at you. But you can use the two sprint markers, the one we went through, the one that's uh, a little closer to the end. And you can also use the town that we went through. I think it's called Onsen Village, but there's no signpost. That doesn't really matter. As we pass through this little village, I don't know if it's a fishing village or what, but as you pass through that village, um, the general rate of incline does drop down. We're in a little descent here, but it generally gets uh, mostly flat, but it does undulate from here to 11.8 or 25 kilometers into the ride. The one thing we will be watching out for is at 10.3 kilometers and 23.8 kilometers, there is a bump up and down, and that's right before the village. Here we go. See that little tower uh, there in the distance? We're coming past it now. You can see we're on that bump that I mentioned, 10.3, 23.8 kilometers, lap one and two. So don't get caught out by this. Um, steps up to 3%, almost out of nowhere, just for a couple of hundred meters and then drops back down again. That's a good sign. I think we are about a kilometer from the end of this little flat section when it turns to a downhill. I say flat through town here, it actually bumps up and then down and then it's a little bit flat. But as we enter town it is 0%. There's the sprint marker. We are, well, I don't know what we're at. Uh, as we pass through the sprint marker though, um, we know we've only got a short distance more flat before it descends and we'll pick up speed. There we go. And it's downhill from here to the end of the lap, or indeed the end of the race itself. It gets pretty steep down here in certain places, and it does still undulate. You can see that it, it was zero and one percent there for a second, uh, but is for the most part downhill, as you can see from the Velo Viewer 3D map. We look here. Picking up a fair turn of speed, particularly if you are on the last lap. This is almost the reverse of last week where uh, that, that false flat took us all the way to the end. Now we've got a downhill taking us all the way to the end. Maybe that'll turn the tables and the uh, climbers will be lagging behind while the more portly riders are taking the lead. All right, passing the pens where we started. If this is your first lap, you have one more to go. But if this is your second lap, you are all done. Have a great day. I will leave you with the downloadables. But of course, don't forget, you should go and download them instead of just freezing the frame and watching them here or something. And uh, the link should now be up in the top right corner. So from now to next Thursday, right on, everybody.